Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Mega Museum's Mint Off Card. I got a bit of a surprise this week in my mailbox in the form of this Riddler figure, which I don't remember buying, but I'm glad I did. Um, full disclosure, the Riddler is my favorite DC Comics villain. Always has been since I was a kid, so much so that when I broke my Type 1 Riddler, I got my Riddler figure replaced because he was so important because I didn't have Joker or Penguin. So he really was the essential DC Comics villain. And he's definitely one of my favorite world's greatest superhero figures. So let's talk a little bit about the packaging. We've already gone into the situation where, you know, Warner Brothers style guide for mass market toys is kind of bland and it's particularly n noticeable when the character has a question mark for the logo. I am, however, very pleased with Migo using the yellow. That uh, it was obviously indicative of the character back in the day. I really like that. And also, the back of the card is wonderful, showcasing a nice picture of the Riddler. And it also harkens back to the original World's Greatest Superheroes uh, packaging, which is nice. Uh, however, this show is called Mint Off Card, and I have no reservations about ripping this guy from his little cardboard and plastic prison and showcasing him. So we'll cue the silly music montage, and I'll give you a nice look at the Riddler. <laughs> And there you have it, folks, the Riddler by Mego Corp. The Riddler was always a very simple action figure. There's not a lot to him. He's pretty much very well represented in 3D format. You know, the, the bodysuit, the belt, the purple hands, and the head sculpt. What Mego has done here is they've just basically tried to modernize a, a figure that was, you know, perfect in its simplicity. And what they've done is they've done a better head sculpt for him. I've always loved the original Mego head sculpt. It's wonderful. This one, it really harkens back to like the golden age Riddler for me. And, and I think that's fantastic. And I'm not really a fan of straight up reproduction. So I like little improvements like this. And that is a brilliant head sculpt. I love this figure. I knew I would when I first saw it. And that's probably why I placed the pre-order. But you know, I got to give top marks. I think this is an Andrew Kovalt sculpt. I'm not sure, uh, but that's utterly fantastic. I love it. The suit, there really wasn't any need to change the suit. Um, it looks like a similar representation of the original one from the 70s. The one little change I do like is that Mego in the 70s gave the Riddler a purple version of Batman's utility belt. That always looked weird to me. And Migos changed that. They're giving him a purple version of the Robin belt, which looks much better aesthetically. And I, you know, I think that's great. Otherwise, you know, there's really not a lot to say here. It is a very nice representation of the comic character. I'm really glad for what they did. They didn't try to, you know, overdo it. It, it looks like a modern Riddler action figure and well done Migo. I, I look forward to more of this kind of thing.
What DC characters would you like to see me go tackle next? Let me know in the comments below, or you can hit me up in our Facebook group, Migomania, or at the forums at MigoMuseum.com. I always look forward to your input. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you're new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. This is what we do every week. Until next time, buy what you like. Cheers. <laughs>